you know, one of the things that, that I also think that's important uh, in terms of the translation of the enterprise is something that uh, Nyla for Merchant talks about in her book is um, uh, purpose, right? Uh, to me, that's that's become as someone looking to get people to uh, engage on um, corporate platforms, and you you always get this question about well, everybody's on Twitter and everybody's on Facebook, so that just must mean if we build the same kind of capabilities, they'll they'll be on ours as well. And that's that's not the case because you know people went on Twitter for a purpose. People go on Flickr for a purpose. They go on G Plus and they have a purpose in mind. Um, if you deploy this kind of stuff inside the enterprise uh, without a stated purpose, then to me that's one of the biggest um, hurdles that you have to get across. You can't deploy something and just tell people that you're going to be more collaborative. Uh, you need to work together more, right? Uh, you have to give them something to do. Uh, what's it going to replace? What are we going to not do because of this technology now? Uh, and I think that's, you know, we go back now to what I think is the hardest question is how are you going to change organizationally? Um, because this technology, you know, I love that movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy. Uh, because here is a, a, a really advanced piece of technology, this glass bottle that lands in this tribe of Bushmen and, you know, it eventually causes jealousy and resentment and they, they decide it has to be taken back to the gods. So the one guy sets out across the desert to take it back. And, and I've seen that happen in, in companies that if the culture isn't sufficiently ready to accept a technology, they'll just dump it right back at your feet. Um, and I think that's a hard lesson for companies to hear and learn is that, what do you mean we actually have to change our culture? Um, what do you mean we actually have to be different? I was, you know, um, talking yesterday about the, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the Oreo in the Super Bowl, the Oreo cookie commercial in the Super Bowl. So at our, last, uh, our last American Super Bowl, uh, the power went out. Right during the middle of this, you know, imagine the World Cup and the power goes out, right? And in the span of 20 minutes, Oreo Cookies was able to design, produce, and disseminate an ad about, don't worry, you can still eat Oreos in the dark, right? While the, while the lights were still out, and people were amazed that they could do this this quickly. But then you read the story, and the only reason they were able to react that quickly was because they had made a conscious decision 18 months earlier that they were going to build kind of this social media war room capability that would put them kind of at the forefront of being able to detect and react to challenges and opportunities like that. So I think what's hard for companies to hear is that you too can have that same kind of capability, but it might, like to your earlier point, it might take you a year and a half of change management to get there, right? To, to be able to change lines of reporting and lines of command and lines of communication uh, and to become familiar with new platforms and new capabilities um, so that you can, when that opportunity comes up, make or t you know, take full advantage of it. I think that's a hard thing for companies to hear. That's the hardest thing for them to hear. They want to be able to just buy a piece of technology. <laughs>